sets out of that box out now um, that I'm going to use for this Manny. So we have um, Fairy Fest. That was the art set out of the box. It also has this gorgeous holographic glitter in it and these adorable fairy wings on it. I love it. Um, and then we're going to use the overlay, the glitter overlay. Um, that was called Electric Orbit. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into doing that. Um, also, by the way, just finished doing the um, nail extensions that I showed you in the previous video. So this is what they looked like once I finished. I did take some pics to put at the end of the video so you could see them kind of closer and a little bit better. But I mean, I could leave these just like they are. They look great. Um, I just put the, um, ridge filler back over the top of it, um, and it worked great. It looks really pretty. Um, I could definitely leave them as they are. They look pretty and natural, but we are going to do this Manny. So, all right, I'm going to start with this set here. We are going to make French tips out of these wings. Um, so probably going to use most of these strips because we've only got the wings on one end, but we'll see. Um, I want to see if I can use the pinky one or not. I don't think I can. I think they're going to be too small. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. I mean... I don't think the pinky one's going to be big enough to... I mean, I could use some of the other end at the sides to make it, but I'm not going to. So, I'll take those little baby pinkies off. We're not going to use those. We're going to use the second size for the pinkies. Um... Let's see if I can use this one on my ring finger or not. Um, yeah, I probably could, but there's a little bit of space, so. All right, we'll use this on our pointer finger, though. And then the ring finger, I'm going to do a solid, the whole strip. So we're going to do all of the other ones as tips, but then this one is going to be the full strip so that you can see all that beautiful blue color and whatnot. So, all right. And then I'm not sure how well that one will do on my middle if it's big enough. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then can we use this for our thumb? Or do we need the big... Let's just use the bigger one because I'm probably not going to use this again. But we'll put these few to the side anyways. Just because it's only on the one end, it's kind of hard. Um, I love the blue color. I might on these ones that we're just using the tips. I might cut the one side off to keep and use for another Manny. I don't know. Because it's such a beautiful blue color. I love it. But So, 
we're going to take this and yeah. I am going to, since I'm only using that part right there, I can actually cut this like right here. And then we can try and save that for another manicure, hopefully. If you didn't want these to re-stick, they probably would. <laughs> you always have such a hard time like keeping them um, off of my fingers when I'm doing my mani. But anyways, so what we're gonna do is take these little guys, I'm gonna take my cuticle scissor, my rounded scissor, and we're gonna cut out right around that wing bit here. Actually, on this side, I need to cut a little bit more off. on just like it's a French tip. So, and I'm going to put it pretty far down so that I get most of that wing on my fingertip because I want to see as much of it as possible and on my pinky it's this one is pretty short so um, we're losing some of it but then it makes it sort of like so it looks like a, a V tip, a deep V French tip. Um, with that pretty wing pattern to it. I had already kind of thought that I would do that with this um, when I first saw it. And then. Um, I watched, oh shoot, I lost one of my other ends because I had it right under my arm. There we go. Um, I watched Candace. she does a lot of awesome nail art and this is something similar to what she did with hers. She had a lot more going on with her. She put, um, I believe, under cover down first. And then she did this glitter. Um, she put down the fairy wings and then she also did um, the star overlay bit from the sub box as well. And she took out just the star parts just the strips that don't have black on them and put the stars in here. Um, I'm not gonna go that far. I'm just gonna do the overlay. Um, and she had all of her overlays underneath the wings. I'm gonna put my overlay on top of it because I want it to be, to seal in this part here that's open, so. Um, 
but I think it looked great as an underlay too. It came out really cool the way she did hers. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to go quite that far because I don't want that many layers on my nail. Um, I think she does her nails like almost every day. Um, I wouldn't want to leave that many layers on my nail. It's too much for me, but it looked really cool. So she was doing it like this kind of cosmic theme to it. It looked really awesome. She also, when she did hers, um, she said, you know, on the, some of the fingers, you'll end up on the edges here, not having enough coverage at the tip. So she actually took a strip of the blue and put it down first and then put the wings over it. So that way, if there was any little bits along the side that weren't covered, it didn't matter because you had the blue there. Because like, if you look closely at my pinky, I do have a little bit over here that's not covered, but I'm not really worried about it. I don't, it doesn't bother me, but if that's something that would really bother you, you can do that so that you have that bit of the blue along the edge there to cover any areas that the wings might miss. Because the wings are at the tip, so they're at the smaller end of the strip and everything. This is an insanely gorgeous color. It's got so much, like, the depth to it is, ins like, what's in there you can't even see. It's like shimmer, it's glitter, it's, there's so much going on in this strip. Um, and you're not seeing all of it in the wing area, that's why I wanted to do the one nail, um, with it as a full strip, you know so that you could see all of that. I'm gonna try this one a little different way here. I'm gonna put this side down first. And then pull it around to the other side. So hopefully it covers everything. This pinky's a little bit longer, so you get to see a little bit more of that Beautiful wing action going on there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to love this, I think. It's really pretty. I wish that I had another set of this. Like, um, I only do the one sub box. I kind of wish that I had two this month. Because I love everything that's in here. And I definitely definitely love this set. This is right up my alley, this beautiful blue and purple color. I, oh god, look at how good that looks. I think that looks insanely good. Oh my goodness, all right. Now let's do, I want to see how this looks with the full nail. And this is not a sheer set. It does have like the a bluish back on it so that you don't have, it's not sheer. Like um, when I did the unboxing and I was kind of questioning if it was going to be like Wing Woman, it is not. It is not sheer in any way. So you would not see through it if you put it. I think if you put it over another color it might enhance like if you had a dark color on it might enhance some of that um color and make it a little bit brighter but like it's not gonna be like see-through you know that blue though oh my god That is gorgeous. Wow. Ugh, I 
wish I had more than one set of this. It's so pretty. I'm sure I'll be able to find some though. Um, someone will have it in a D stash or something. Also, these strips are going on great over this. Um, these extensions that I put on, so. If you didn't go and watch that video, you can see what I'm talking about, but these are um, the Dashing Diva clear strips with um, a gel nail um, overlay on them. Um, but this is going down great over those, like really well. I'm super happy with how that experiment turned out. I'm glad I did it because it came out really good. Oh, that is so friggin' pretty. I love this set. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do. Let's see if I can cut this like that and get the clear plastic off. I'm nervous, but I'm going to do it. Okay, let's see if it works. <clears throat> I'm probably going to regret it because it's going to be a pain to take the plastic off, I bet. But I'll try it. separated on this corner here. No, I didn't. There we go. I cannot get over how beautiful this set is. I don't know, I might change my mind on my rating on this sub box. Because I love this. Might be as close as they're ever going to get to a 10 for me. I don't know. to the other. I think that worked out best. It's kind of hard because I want to make sure that I get... No, 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 no. You want to make sure that you get it at the tip but not... Um, without losing too much at the tip. Like you don't want to make placements very important so that you don't lose too much of that wing pattern, but 
You also don't leave anything uncovered at the tip. though. And I like it this way with the like V-tip French design kind of thing going on. It looks super pretty. Okay. It does not turn out to be that hard to get the plastic off. So I'm going to keep doing it that way so that they're still covered when I put them back in the um, bag, envelope, whatever you want to call it. The purple colors in the wing are just they're so pretty I mean like it's it's got very different like colors as it's moving through like there's even a little bit of a reddish tint to it in some spots it's crazy good to be easiest to kind of turn this my hand upside down to do this so I can see better <gasps> no 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 like where I'm placing it at the tip stretch it a tiny bit but not much because you would mess up the design if you stretched it too much sorry I'm not trying to flip you all off here <laughs> Is really pretty okay sorry I keep saying it I keep repeating myself but it's so good like it's just really good sitting and then they're going to end up on the ground. Okay. Actually, I can just kind of wondering if I want to do the full thumb too. So have this finger and this finger full strips and then the other ones the I think I might do that. Okay. Cause that oh it's 
just such a pretty color. I want to be able to see some of it. I mean, you can see it in this, but like, it's just different, you know? I don't know. Uh, what am I doing? I need to do it from this end. It came off a lot easier when I did it at the corner. Come on, little guy. You don't want to stay on here. You don't belong there. Come on. It is a pain in the butt to try and get the plastic off after without the tab, but it can be done. It's just... It's a little bit of work. this one's going to give me an extra hard time because it's the last one that I need to do it on. Alright, let's just, we'll come back to it in a second. Sometimes when you get annoyed with it, you got to just wait a second. Come back. kind of thinking that I might, I wish I had done the glitter on the under because it is going to affect the look of this a little bit, but I do want that glitter over there, but now I'm kind of wish, wishing that I had done it as an underlay. I wanted it to seal everything in, but um, I'm kind of wishing I did it underneath now. I don't want to change how this part looks, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. That one is not a super concentrated glitter, so I mean, it's going to change how it looks, but not like, I don't think it'll be crazy. It looks so good. I freaking love this. Where did you come from? Got a little teeny tiny ant crawling across my desk somehow.
Oh, that looks so pretty. Now I'm going back and forth on the thumb if I want to do a full strip or a French tip kind of thing. I think these look so good as a French tip. I do like the full nail too, but I feel like the French tip look to it is really, really good. And I kinda, I don't know. I don't know. See if we can get the plastic off once it's on me, which is much harder, by the way. so good. All right, I'm gonna do, we're gonna, and I think for the thumbs, I'm gonna do, all right, so we'll cut this off here, and then I'm gonna cut off a piece of this. at the tip because I think on the thumb it's going to be harder to reach the edges. So I'll do that. So you just kind of place that piece across the tip of your finger. That way if the wings don't reach the edge, you've got that covering it. Um, that's how Candace did all of her nails when she did the, the French tip thing with it. So it worked pretty well when she did it that way. You didn't see any of the edge on her nail. So hopefully on my leg. Okay. Let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. 
You know, these could almost look like mermaid tails too, like the end of a mermaid tail. So if you wanted to make a mermaid themed Manny versus the fairy wings, I feel like turned the other way, it really looks more like a mermaid tail. So, and then with the blue, kind of oceany color, you could definitely do some mermaid nails with these too. like see on this one you can see it I think better how it looks like upside down it almost looks like a mermaid tail so I think if you put it from the bottom going up and cut out just like I'm doing with it on the tip but do it from the bottom up and then add some like seashell type themed stuff or ocean type themed stuff, mermaid stuff, whatever, you could definitely turn it into mermaid nails if you wanted, if that's your jam. I like mermaids too, but fairies, anybody who knows me really well knows that I have an obsession with fairies, so this is right up my alley. I have so much fairy stuff in my house and I love fairies, so. I like the fairy wings, but I would definitely do a mermaid themed one with them too. I think it would be pretty cool. I just love how this looks. I think it came out super good. You should definitely try it. It's super cute. Especially if you like a negative space Manny. I think even if you're not a negative space person, you would like this though. It looks really super cute. Huh? Oh, no, no, don't stick there, please. Okay. I put it down a little too far. So it's good I have the 
the blue at the tip for it, but uh, well, it is what it is. It's there now. So. I did it that way, not the full nail. Even though I like the way this one looks, it's, I really like the look of the French tip, so I'm happy that I did it that way. Let me seal this up. actually leave this mini on for a little while. I say that all the time, but I don't know. I might leave this one. This one is definitely a Heather, Heather look. <laughs> With the purples and the blues and then the fairy wings. Like this is like they couldn't have done something more me if they had asked me. What? Like This is definitely a Heather Manny that I'm probably going to want to leave on for a while. Alright. Let's see here. I'm going to try using the baby pinkies. That's the, the glitter in this is interesting because it's like if you hold it one way, it looks like it's all just silver, but then when the light catches it, you see that color in it. It's like definitely got that holographic look to it for sure. majority of the glitter in where the wings aren't, so. almost want to like cut out a little triangle and put it just where the negative space is with the wings because I don't know if I like it over top of the wing let's do the other one let's see The glitter is kind of spaced weird in these.
Yeah, the glitter is spaced really odd. I don't know that I like it. Because, like, if you look at, like, this strip, you see, like, you've got this big space here with no glitter. I don't know. It's weird. I'm really not sure about it. I was really thinking that I would not mind having it over the design, but I don't know how I feel about it. Now I made a big old mess to clean up here because I put it down farther. I mean, it's not bad over it, it's just... I'm not sure... if it's what I want. I don't know. All right, let me, let's try. Think if I can just cut out a bit to put down there. Not cover the whole thing. Let's see. This is turning out to be more work than I was expecting this to be done quickly because I was just going to throw this overlay on, but all right, let's see. Now that I cut out a bit of it, let's try putting it down that way and see. do a reverse underlay by not covering the whole thing since I didn't do it to start with. That's a little better, I think. I think I like that more anyways. It's I, I really just wanted it in there, but over top of the other bits I feel like it's just too much. I don't like it. it. It obscures the design too much I feel like. Definitely gonna have to do a gel top coat to seal this stuff in because it's gonna be a lot of like edges, edges of the strips and stuff. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this part off.
Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing a gel top coat, but I'm going to have to so that everything is all sealed up and I don't have all these edges like that can come up and catch on stuff, you know? I think that's better than how it is on the pinky, so I think I'm going to do that. I mean, the longer I have it on here, the less it's bothering me that there's the glitter over top, but I think I like this better where it's just here. I've got this one piece right here that's annoying me. I don't know which one looks better, the one with it all over the whole thing or just in that middle bit. Ah, <sighs> so indecisive. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Just do it in the middle. Can sit here hemming and hawing over it forever, and this video will be a bazillion years long. So, just gotta make a decision, right? Stupid thing keeps coming back at me, a little gnat or something. It's driving me crazy. So I let the dog out. And then of course the door is open with the porch light on and all of the little buggies wanna come flying on in. Yeah, kind of a pain having to cut these like that, but I think that I like it better just being in the open bit and not over the whole nail, so. I'm just gonna keep going with it that way. It's
stupid little fruit fly is going to make me crazy. These are ones that definitely need like even if you're putting on a full strip when you cut it at the edge you need nippers because these glitters if you use your fingernail to cut this at the edge you're gonna end up ripping it ripping the strip because of the way the big glitters are I think this one would actually even be super cute just by itself. It would be a little party because it really does look like confetti kind of, which I guess is the point, right? This is a festival box. It's like, it's supposed to be a party, right? It definitely is. That glitter is like confetti. All right. Last finger here. Finally. I thought this video would be relatively short. Nope, we're about an hour. Like all the other ones. <laughs> By the time I put nail fees on the end and title bits in it, it will be for sure like probably an hour and five minutes. So, if you wanted to try something like this, I would definitely put this down as an underlay. Learn from the mistakes. Unless you like this, seeing the glitter over the wing parts. do it as an underlay if I did this over again. But I do have more of it left this way so I can use it for more manis now but And to just worked out that way, but I was going to put it on the ring finger too over the whole strip, but now I don't know if I want to do that. I'm probably just going to leave it. was the negative space area to have the glitter, so. Maybe using a different 
glitter strip over the top would have been good too, like a glitter suite or something like that where it's the littler glitters. I probably wouldn't have minded that being over the wing bits. All right, well, we are done. There it is. I hope you guys liked it and maybe I gave you some ideas and I will see you on the next one. Love you. Bye. Thank you.